Thank you. It's a huge privilege. I'm here to talk a little bit today about how Facebook does open source at scale. But what does that mean? What does scale mean? Well, for us, that means launching tens of open source projects every month. It means hundreds of Facebook engineers helping to maintain and support those projects on an ongoing basis. And it means engaging with communities around the world uh, to help uh, make their software development experiences better. But to start off with, this is not really the most interesting question of the day. For me, the more interesting question is, why does Facebook do open source at scale? Or in fact, why does Facebook do open source at all? So of course, I could tell you some stories. I could talk about a fateful day back in 2004 when a Harvard undergraduate in his dorm room decided to build a new website and picked the LAMP stack upon which to build it. It was f fast, free in both senses of the word, easy to develop with, and, and had a very quick development cycle. And of course, we have an obligation to give back to the, sh to, to the giants upon whose shoulders we stand. Incidentally, who was part of a LAMP community back in 2004? A few, thank you very much. Uh, but there's much more to it than this. I could tell you about our hacker culture at Facebook and how, just like open source communities, uh, we encourage Facebookers to work on all sorts of different projects, uh, to do hackathons, to try out their ideas, hack on crazy stuff, uh, and use code to win arguments. And that's also true, it's a lot of fun, uh, but that's also not the real reason that we do open source. Uh, and I can even tell you a story about our social obligations, about how we have a mission to make the world more open and connected, and how we think that that applies to software as much as it does to anything else, uh, and that we think we can make the world uh, richer and better by helping to share our software and our projects. And that is also true, but it is still not the real reason that we do open source or the real reason that I'm here today. So the real reason why we do open source, it's just good for the company. Now, I'm sure there are many of you here, many of you uh, who also consider open source to be very good for your company, and there are very many well-established business models uh, for open source, uh, enterprise editions of uh, community projects, or uh, commercial support, or professional services. But Facebook doesn't sell software. We don't sell support, and we certainly don't offer professional services. Uh, so how on earth can it be good for us as a company? Well, there are many reasons, but I'm going to just talk about three. And the first is that we believe open source accelerates innovation in the world. Uh, by sharing our code and our stack, and in some cases even our hardware designs, uh, we think that other companies and individuals are just able to move faster. And far from this being a competitive threat, because remember, we don't sell software, we actually find that the value of this accrues back to us. Uh, our customers and our partners and our peers can build their mobile apps or their websites more quickly. Uh, we can help popularize unconventional ideas, uh, challenge best practices. Uh, and of course, we can even benefit from the improvements that others make to our code. Number two is that we find that Embracing open source means that we just write better software in the first place. Not just because it means that we're checking for spelling mistakes in our comments, uh, or even that we comment our code at all, but at a deeper, more architectural level. If we know that a project is going to be open source from the start, we just build it better. We know that it needs to be built in a certain way. We know that it needs to be well encapsulated. We know that it needs to be nicely extensible. We need to totally understand its dependencies, uh, and we know that it's going to have to have really clean and stable APIs because it's going to be used in the outside world. But even internally, that is of value to us. Remember, we have thousands of engineers, and knowing that a given piece of the software that we use at Facebook is now modular and uh, well-maintained and doesn't have 
dependency trend tendrils throughout the stack means that we can reuse it much more easily in other parts of the, of the, of the company. Number three is that open source gives us a huge chance to share our challenges and the sorts of problems that we have to solve at Facebook. These are challenges of speed. These are challenges of complexity and, and challenges of scale. Uh, and of course, it also attracts the interest of other people who might want to come and work on some of those problems and hence join the company. And we know that this recruiting angle works. Three quarters of our new engineers, when they join the company, say that our open source program positively uh, you know, affected their decision to join the company. And a third of our new joiners say that their prior experience with those projects was valuable to them when they started. So rather than our new engineers having to learn proprietary new technologies internally, they can be shipping production-grade software to production, not in months or weeks, but in days and in some cases hours. So obviously that's a huge win. So that's a taste of why, <clears throat> but let's return to the how. Uh, and the first thing to say is that at our scale, we just have to optimize for pragmatism. Like many of you, we use GitHub and we have accounts for Facebook and for Instagram and for Oculus and for WhatsApp and so on. Uh, unlike some of you, perhaps, we have quite a lot. So we have 274, actually that's wrong, we launched another one yesterday, 275 repos uh, in GitHub, and these are contributed to by over 800 Facebook engineers a year. We have 39,000, almost 40,000 forks of those projects. We have almost 80,000 commits, something like 12 million lines of code. And those projects have been followed or starred on GitHub almost a quarter of a million times. So on average, we have a 1,000 followers per repo. So I'm, I'm a humble Brit, and I know I'm amongst some of the, the finest open source minds in the industry, uh, but we, we're quite pleased with this, and we're very happy with the trajectory and the way it's trending. But this is what we mean by open source at scale. But here's a secret. The open source program, the open source office, if you like, Two people. And so with that sort of surface area and with such a small team, we really need to run this as efficiently and as quickly as possible. So we need to be able to measure things. We need to be able to use software and tooling, and we need to use data to manage it. And we need to encourage our own engineers to do the right things. So one thing we do, for example, is when engineers join the company, we ask them, as part of their onboarding process on day one, to go through the GitHub OAuth flow and as associate their GitHub identity with their Facebook employee identity. Once they've done that, if they have an idea for a new project or their team wants to open source a project, there's a single button that they can press on our internet. Starts the project review, there's a wizard, they can answer some questions. Press another button, it'll create a private repo on our GitHub account that they can upload the code to and start to lint it, write the documentation, install the CI tools, and so forth. And this gets legal sign-off after a few days. It's super efficient. We can get things out of the door really quickly. Everything gets a logo, everything gets a website, everything gets a blog post on code.facebook.com. This is a crank that we know how to turn. It's a really well-run playbook, uh, and we can turn projects around super quickly. Once it's launched, and for all our legacy projects, uh, we use the GitHub API very, very aggressively, and we pulled metadata for every single one of those repos, uh, every fork, every issue, every commit, every follower, every pull request, every minute, and we report on that both in real time internally, so we can see how different projects are doing, uh, and then we also do a monthly aggregated report that we send to engineering directors throughout the company. So this has served a really interesting uh, purpose in that it's gamified Facebook engineers to just do a better job because, one, they know that the reports are going to be distributed, uh, and two, they start to compete with each other. So we have teams looking to see who can get uh, 15,000 stars on GitHub first and so forth. We integrate GitHub issues and pull requests into our engineers' workflow so they get to see uh, both the uh, 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 issues appearing as tasks in their internal task queue. They get to see their pull requests uh, appearing alongside all their internal code review. We track things like pull request total age so we can look to see which uh, teams are doing a good job of interacting with their communities and triaging issues. 
and keeping those numbers down, of course. Uh, and finally, something that we found very interesting is to track the mix of internal and external commits on every single project. This it turns out to be a fantastic signal. signal for how uh, mature a project is, how well run it is, and what sort of engagement we are getting from the community. So tooling has been a huge boost to us in the program. It's really helped us to move fast uh, and yet do so with discipline. That all said, we know we still have a lot to learn, and we're always striving to do better. Uh, and, of course, that's why we're here, talking about our experiences and listening uh, to what others have done. It's also why we work, uh, and we're proud to be involved with many uh, open, established open source communities. It's also why we're proud to be part of the To-Do Group, uh, which is a group of uh, like-minded companies who have company-run open source programs and are looking to understand how to do that better and share those experiences with the industry. So we've talked about the why and we've talked about the how. But finally, what do we open source? And this is the big idea that I really want to leave you with. Because these are not hackathon projects. These are not summer intern projects. Uh, and they're not hobbies that our engineers do in their spare time. This is React the view layer that powers Facebook.com. React Native, the JavaScript framework that we use to build our native mobile apps. HHVM, our high-performance web server. The animation library that we use in all our iOS apps. The image pipeline that we use in all our Android apps. Our security infrastructure. Our flash-based storage for mobile apps and data centers our static analysis tools that we look for bugs in all our apps with, our query engine that we use to query multi-hundreds of petabyte data warehouses with every day, the visual tool that our designers use to design mobile apps, the IDE that our engineers use to build those apps, and finally, most recently, GraphQL, which is the way that we shuttle structured data back and forwards between the Facebook data centers and hundreds of millions of mobile users around the world. So the big idea is this. This is production-grade open source. We use in production what we open source, and we open source only what we use in production. This is how we know, and we hope you know too, that these projects work, that they work at scale, that they're maintained and supported, and hopefully are valuable. And we believe that, as an industry, this is probably more that we can do. This is probably something we can do more of. Because through this program, you're actually seeing how Facebook works. Facebook is a mission-driven company. Quite frankly, open source helps us to achieve that mission more quickly. We are still standing on the shoulders of giants. And we hope that others, in turn, are going to be able to stand on ours. But I want to leave you with this. We connect nearly a billion people a day, and we connect nearly 1.5 billion people a month. We can only do this because of open source. And for that alone, I'd like to say thank you very much. <laughs>